Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's showcase, I'm going to show you how absolutely powerful the new banner war aspect is and why you really need to add this to your collection. The following allows users to go full out supportive mode and constantly heal everyone in your radius. This alone is amazing because of the duration it lasts for, but also combining this with precious scars and woeful melm makes it even more appealing than before. Pretty much time is free healing for you and everyone else. This build alone is going to be the saving grace for a number of upcoming tough content. Let me show you how you can benefit from this. To start, you're going to want to have Into the Fray where destroying a Tangle or casting a Super grants Woven Mail for nearby allies. While you have Woven Mail, your melee regeneration is increased. You'll then want Banner of War where defeating a target with melee, sword or finishers raises a banner that will continuously heal you and your allies within its radius. Defeating targets will also increase his pulse rate while also getting a melee and sword buff. To make the exotic functional with the build, I decided that the best course of action here is to build directly into strength for Pan of War and keep enhancing his healing feature even more. This overall makes the healing you get even more stronger and can even prevent fatal hits from occurring so often. Add in the ease of use with Woven Melm and you overall get a build capable of day one raids. Looking at the fragments, we have Thread of Fury, where damaging targets with Tangle grants melee energy. Thread of Transmutation, while you have Wither Mel, weapon finder blows will create Tangle. Thread of Warding, where collecting orbs of power grants you Wither Mel. And Thread of Propagation, where power melee finder blows grants strand weapons and rivaling rounds. Ultimately, we want to make sure our Wither Mel is available at all times for ourselves and allies as much as possible. While In the Frame offers that ability, being able to collect orbs of power for Wave of Mail allows us to keep on the move and make use of the damage reduction while helping our team. Also, being able to create tangles on the fly make Into the Fray ability even more stronger when applied to teammates who have low resilience. I believe the following aspect fits the theme of the build well and also achieves the goal of being supportive as much as possible. For the mods and stats section, resilience, discipline and strength will play a big part within the build itself. Resilience at tier 9 will grant us a 27% damage reduction on top of the Woven Mel damage reduction. With the two combined, you will get a 70.8% damage reduction, making you one very tanky titan to take down. This also allows us to get our Riley Barricades back up within 25 seconds, but overall this stat will mainly be used for damage reduction and protection on our side. Your discipline now should be around tier 7 with Front of Focus applied so that we can reach tier 10 overall. Using Suspend Grenades with Cooldown overall, this will grant us a 1 minute 16 grenade cooldown at tier 10, which is high on its own admission. However, this is because we don't have the further generation or any additional grenade based mods to help reduce this down further. Adding the following will make a difference to how fast you can get your grenades back, but ultimately this will depend on how often you tend to use your grenade from start to finish. This is the same with strength being at tier 7 with Font of Viga bonus applied. We only have outreach for the mod being used for the stat, but at the same time, Into the Fray with accompanying fragments will vastly push this cooldown from 57 seconds down to at least 50 to 40 seconds. Trust me, you really don't need to expand the cooldown of your strength stat even more if you follow exactly what I have. While you're there, do add on the following armor charge mods such as Charged Up and Stacks on Stacks which will give you a plus one to charge stacks so you overall get four charges when active. Next, Harmonic Cypher mod with powerful attraction will allow us to create orbs of power fairly fast, while at the same time also being able to collect them fast. Adding this strand surge mod for a 7% damage buff and the time dilation mod will enhance the weapon's performance for longer. And then lastly, heavy ammo finder, scavenger and reserves are recommended if you plan to use swords like shown. For weapons, add the Rufus Fury with Demolitionist and Target Lock, although this can be very flexible as long as it's a strand weapon. The following is S tier that has a lot of good perks which you can never go wrong with and is overall a really good 720 AR. My perks focus on damage and ability regen since the weapon has a large magazine to start with and being able to get my grenades back even faster will allow me to use my suspend grenades a lot more often. However, this weapon can only be gotten from the run raid, which not everyone can achieve so easily. Which is why a good runner up is the Perpetualist AR, which is still available to get, has similar perks that you can farm and grind for, 
and is a 620 AR, which allows you to play as a bullet hose. For a heavy, it is recommended to be a sword, and I went with the Black Talon Exotic Sword. Although it is void, the following allows me to play in higher endgame content and still allow me to make use of the Banner Ward Sword buff when active. It's this alone that makes it the S tier, as we can use the heavy range attack to activate a Banner of War upon getting the kill. It just allows us to easily activate this in a moment's notice, when we can't close the gap and use our melee instead. This aspect has got to be one of the best titan aspects to be released, that allows players to play a more pivotal and supportive role in almost all activities. Usually, if you want to play supportive titan, you will be left with Void and Solo the pick. Outside of Void, Solo gets very limited with titans unless you have a specific exotic armor piece to achieve it, and for that alone, it's not always enough. Void is always the best. But finally, Strang can put his foot down for those who really love the abilities it offers. For example, Strand Titan with Into the Freya aspect allows players to not only get Wolf and Mel from themselves, but also for their team as well, which is quite huge with how much damage reduction you are given. Then you have your Super Suspend ability, and ease of use with creating tangles on the fly makes Titan one of the best all rounder classes to pick. With Banner of War applied, we can go even further with the support of the role. One melee from us and continuous kills will provide a large healing aurora that heals me and my teammates inside of it, but also giving me a buff in melee and sword damage. From there, using our tangles will grant us Wither Mel, which can be reapplied as many times as we like via our fragments choice. And then lastly, push the scars along with our banner of war will allow us to basically backfill our healing and pretty much become a walking well of radiance. Whatever weapon you use here will not matter, as the aspect and exotic alone is more than enough to support your ideas. This is easily one of the most effective ways of keeping your team alive in a number of hard content where specific builds are required. In fact, this is going to be my go-to build for any day one raids, just so I can always keep my team alive through all means. Now, to make myself clear, you can still die if you get hit by a heavy attack, or if you play any activity unleveled. It also poses the risk of how effective it will be when playing in GMs for example, as getting a melee kill the proc, our effect, won't always be achievable. Though with precious scars in hand, this can fill in the void of lost health when Banner of War is not an option. Overall though, this is a fantastic aspect and build that makes playing as a support of Healing Knight a dream come true. What do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoy the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you again soon.